the White House rebuked Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's recent comments about the January 6 insurrection on Monday, calling her remarks a slap in the face to law enforcement and the people who died in connection with the attack. Speaking at the New York Young Republican Club's gala on Saturday night, the Georgia Congresswoman referenced allegations that she was involved in the planning of the January 6, 2021, assault on the U.S. Capitol by supporters of then-President Donald Trump. I will tell you something, if Steve Bannon and I organized that, we would have won, Green said to cheers and applause. Not to mention, it would have been our, in a comment to Yahoo News Monday, White House spokesman Andrew Bates said, it goes against our fundamental values as a country for a member of Congress to wish that the carnage of January 6 had been even worse, and to boast that she would have succeeded in an armed insurrection against the United States government. This violent rhetoric is a slap in the face to the Capitol Police, the D.C. Metropolitan Police, the National Guard, and the families who lost loved ones as a result of the attack on the Capitol, Bates added. All leaders have a responsibility to condemn these dangerous, abhorrent remarks and stand up for our Constitution and the rule of law. First elected in 2020 in a safe Republican district, Green was almost immediately stripped of her committee assignments by House Democrats due to her promotion of conspiracy theories, including QAnon, and threats of violence against other politicians as well as racist and anti-Semitic comments. Green has repeatedly said that the rioters being prosecuted for January 6 have been treated unfairly. At least seven people died in connection to the events of January 6, and more than 100 police officers were injured. Green survived a legal challenge earlier this year that attempted to keep her from being on the ballot due to a lawsuit alleging she had engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the United States. Earlier this year, Green spoke at a conference hosted by white nationalist Nick Fuentes, who recently dined with Trump and anti-Semitic rapper Kanye West. When the White House denounced Fuentes, a Holocaust denier, the New York Young Republican Club, which was honoring Green, said it was attacking free speech. Green herself has repeatedly compared those promoting mask and vaccine usage to Nazis. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy had promised to reinstate Green to her committee assignments if Republicans won back the majority, earning her support in his race to be House Speaker. I think that to be the best Speaker of the House and to please the base, he's going to give me a lot of power and a lot of leeway, Green told the New York Times in October.